All right, guys, everybody's been asking how to do this, so I'm gonna try to explain it. Wrap you a little bit of thread right around the head. Trim off the tag end. Do a quick whip finish. And I'll show you what that's for later. going to take our curly tail we're going to cut that thread that onto your body or onto your head try to get as straight as possible Get your thread. See how it pulls the body up? Make you a thread base. Cut the tag end off. Use your fingers to push it forward and keep wrapping. And you don't want a huge thread base on this, but enough. All right, now we're gonna get our feathers. I'm using four feather tips and I'm just gonna stack them. Once again, push it forward, start wrapping, come back down. I go a little bit past the point of the hook. Now I'm going to get my flashaboo. You can use whatever you want, however many you want. You can use more feathers, less feathers, how, you know, no rules. Tie the flashaboo in. Trim it. All right, now you're going to whip finish it. Now you're going to super glue. I use the Gorilla Glue with the brush. You use whatever you like. Now you're gonna push that plastic over your thread base. Now the little thread I tied at the front, now I'm gonna show you what that's for. Now you pull this one forward, glue it, and that plastic will adhere to that thread and the head and it's not going anywhere i hope that helps you out uh, i've been playing with this for about a week i think i've got the technique down um, you can buy the injectors the mold the mold 70 bucks i'm not buying that uh, i can get a pack of these at walmart for a dollar for 10. Um, but if you want to get into plastics hey go for it um, Another one, which is good for number four hooks, is the two inch joker from Strike King. That is the perfect size for a number four hook. I prefer a number two. So these are a little bit longer, the swirly tails. But I hope that helps you out. Everybody's been asking how I do this. There you go.